Ladies and gentlemen, Joe, you don't. Yeah. Um, I am not responsible for any unfortunate lactation or death caused by the sheer hype and manliness contained within this video. Wolf Enterprises will not be sued for that. Gentlemen, I know the little result of this game. I've been blessed with the vision of the tenth eye and I've seen it. So I know that this ends up having a pretty badass result. I won't spoil it too much. God dang it, though we are. So I'm now gonna watch this game and the cool part is I haven't seen it. I have no idea. I'm gonna experience this exactly as you guys do. Now we're here with um Bonds Neef or Bonds Neff. I'm gonna call him Jade Egg. Because it would be funny if he gets shot on by Arty. Okay, so as expected, this has uh, got plenty of epic matchmaking on its hand. The SU1244 is basically an STB1 at tier 7, which is why we call it the tier 7 STB1, funnily enough. It has 7.5 grams per minute with 290 alpha damage, 90 millimeters of frontal armor, which is the same as the SU152 at tier 8, but on this tank, it's angled back at 45 degrees. Which is alarming because it gives it decent to armor against the lower tiers that were helpless anyway because they die in two seconds. Mm. Now, um, uh, uh, Jade Egg, even though it's not Jade Egg, has taken that. Uh, uh, was I taking this position? Probably not, but then again, I suck at playing tank destroyers. <laughs> <laughs> the little Stuart. <laughs> no, go away, stop it. I don't need any other YouTube videos like that. My word, my voice is like Morgan Freeman. That Stuart clapped me up. <laughs> it's like pew, pew. Okay, so. Trying to give advice to his team, telling him to pull back, and they are. Well, I don't want to say they're poorly defended on the east, because they've got a lot of tanks there, but they're spread out, meaning the enemy can focus their fire onto them one by one, which is what we're seeing happen. The enemy are taking down the KV-3 and moving on to the next one, and they, they're not really getting... The fire of our team is not getting focused or condensed into the enemy team, which is why we're so convincingly losing that flank. But it has given this tank another nice opportunity to show exactly how utterly overpowered it is oh my god like it should be an instinct when you get to a certain point like if i get shot once by this thing i'm like that cat in that video no 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 it, uh, that was a startlingly good impression <laughs> okay so laying down the law to these guys <clears throat> and I'm not inventive enough to think up any more things to say or anything else to do right now, so um, I'm going to express my feelings about this game through um, interpretive dance. Okay, so enemy RT are still chilling back. Enemy has got their main focus on this game up in the east. Now the SU has a remarkably over cam overpowered cavalry team due to it being in that class of vehicle that didn't get its cavalry team nerfed quite a while ago. If any of you did not know, uh, <laughs> the RT just pasted the two tanks of cavalry to get him because RT. Um, if you did not know, quite a while ago. I'll pause it while I talk about this. Um, Wargaming decided that TDs were becoming too overpowered, which they were. Things like Bore Sigs, Rough and Triggers back in the day. They could just sit 300 meters away and fire at you and not get spotted. And then they changed all that. They the, the, the class bonus, if you like, of TDs used to be that they could fire and contain more of their cannon engine while they fired. Wargaming said, hell with that, and they removed it from all non-premium tank destroyers, but it stayed on the premium vendors, like the E25 and the SU-12244. They still have the same 
decent camo after firing that they did before that ground nerf, which made them even more overpowered in comparison to the st to the stark amount of TDs that are not premium. And so, while it didn't make them directly overpowered in comparison, it just it gave them more of an advantage at the tier compared to the others, which I thought was really interesting. Now, this game has taken potentially a turn for the worse. I mean, the M5 Stuart is still gallivanting out off, off there, but I mean, the enemy have got one, two tier 7 tanks, and oh, we've got two actually, but something tells me that T43 is not long for this world. I mean, I haven't seen this game as we know, but. I, I, I just feel like, wow, Stug, really? Okay. Well, that sure was a good thing Arty is not overpowered. Ow! Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the Sarcasm Fist. It's going to punch me whenever I say something sarcastic, because I do it too much. Oh, that was ill-advised. <laughs> I love it when people do that. People see this tank fire and they're like, Oh my god, now I can hit it because it's got a long reload. Like, if you're good enough, like, it's a significant advantage to you that like, you can put your finger on it and you can use. If you fire at someone, then they're more than likely to go, Aha, now I'll take advantage of your reload. And then you kill them. Violently. Um, and so it can, you can actually use that to your advantage. Come on, JDEG, or alternate JDEG. Use your mobility. Can't sit here with a load of pigs on your face. Okay, so when you're casing, hopefully you're going to run into the VK? I hope. T43 is doing a lot better than I thought he would. Uh, check out one of the RT, and God, thank you, it's a leather. Ha ha ha. I can absorb power when those things die. Oh my god. Okay, so where's the VK? Supposedly mobile tier 7 German heavy tank, uh, bearing in mind where it goes up to VK 4502B or the mother-in-law, which everyone hates because it's got better armor than the mouse. <laughs> Logic. Now this is a risky plant. The MX pops up, he's pretty much on you. I don't think that I'd have the balls to make this play, actually. But it is the right one, I should think. So. Now the enemy have got to encroach. They've got two tier 7s, two RT, and a stug that hasn't been spotted for the entire game, like you've got to assume is AFK at this point, really. So. And now, peace, quiet. 330 meters of base range on this tank, one of the few disadvantages about it, and he's compensating for that for bino with binos. So combining binos with the good camera launching of this tank should allow him to outspot most opponents. Let us hope at least. Meanwhile, the RT are thinking about uh, positioning, situational awareness, and the high ground. Ow! It's going to help, because I'm going to be able to stop that. That didn't hurt at all. Fucking life! Okay, alright. Well, this guy looks keen. Oddly keen. It doesn't look... I don't know if, um... JDEG has six cents, actually. I'm unsure. But he can use the bush. Now he's spotted, and yes he does! Look at my beautiful face! I can't remember who designed that Sixth Sense. But they're trying to cap on encounter the threat level of that certainly decreases substantially as the time is a lot longer to cap. But we're going to assume if someone's capping, then someone's going to be looking to defend. We don't know who out of the... Ah. Uh, well, I guess now we do. Ah, that was unlucky with the premium shell. Oh, I misses though. And Jenna can take as many shots as he wants, pretty much, in the time it would take that guy to me though, but he keeps his mobility up. How many marks has he got on this tank? Two! Uh, 
Ah. Well, hopefully on the way to the third with this game. And he's happy in Jan. Why wouldn't he be indeed 7k damage? Now, what is in the cap? Is it an RT? Is it the Amex? Now, he knows he's got time to spare here. But I'd be nervous about, at this point, about someone joining the enemy in the cap. So he's not going to waste too much time over here. And I believe he's going to relocate and approach the cap from an unexpected angle. Let's hope that's what I would do anyway. Well, no, I'd be dead ages ago because I, I, I wouldn't have been able to hit half these shots. And I might have turned into a shield with my two mates. I don't know, something shenanigan field would have happened. Okay. Oh, that guy is not AFK, seriously? And pops up at the worst possible moment. Spots alternate jade egg out in the open. Well, Stug is a one shot and not really a threat to his to armor because, as we know, 90 millimeters angle back at 45 degrees against tier 5 tanks, even tier 5 TDs that are favored in the pen department. Not really gonna happen. And there is a Hummel, perhaps about to be humbled. Oh, 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 hey! Yay! It's a serious question to me as to why the Stook hasn't actually capped. But, there we go. Okay, climbing, climbing, climbing. Jay there, and the overpowered tank just uh, went up the hill. And the Stook came tumbling down. Okay, one minute left on cap. AMX is still putting his hope in the fact that he might be able to cap. Nothing hurt from that AMX yet though, he's got, well the RT, he's got 20 kills, one might assume he's at least semi-competent. 45 seconds. And look at the mobility of this tank, it's just glorious. Well, which side is he going to be? I bet on him being furthest away. But, uh, it appears I was right! Oh no! Okay, uh... That was never going to happen. But is the RT going to poop on his soul? The never-ending question. Three minutes and 20 seconds. This is an encounter. I do not believe he has time to cap. So he has to go and find that RT. Otherwise, this game, this awesome game of epicness and winness, will be ending in a tie. And I very much do not want to see that happen. Even though I know the result. Don't stop, my man! What are you doing? I almost typed in chat. <laughs> God damn it, go! <laughs> uh, my goodness. Come on, speed. You know what? I'm gonna watch you on double speed. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh! Uh. Is he where I think he is? <laughs> this is where you know I play the game. <laughs> Come on. Go up. Go up. Go up. Jump on him. Jump on him. Jump on him. Oh. <sighs> it would have been so worth it. Well, gentlemen, hopefully you found pleasure in the game. Shall we look at the, uh, the, um, the post-game result thingies? Gentlemen, look at this collection of goodies. Pools, medal, color manos, defender, high caliber, tank sniper, and top gun. I, I don't know why you don't get a Nadley Walters. If you get a top gun, why do you not get a Nadley? Hacks! Okay, so... Surprisingly enough, coming top on the team with some fairly good marksmanship as well. 29 shots fired, 25 hit and 23 penned. Now, uh, that's to be expected in a top tier game, but still, it, with a gun with this kind of accuracy at the ranges he was shooting at, that's pretty damn impressive. Moving all over the map and getting almost 100 base defense points, pretty comprehensive game playing in all areas of gameplay. 
And that's just what you can expect with this tank he made in the end. With a standard count, 52,000 planets. Did have to fire some of his premium shells at the end there, for which I don't blame him at all. Oh, eyes are awfully difficult buggers. But, gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed the game. I look forward to seeing you on my stream today on Twitch. www.twitch.tv forward slash earth do come and join us. There's going to be all sorts of shenanigans of uh, vanging, doing these. It's going to be fun. So come say hi, and until then, farewell. <laughs>